Honeywell's FMS 6.1 upgrade provides many improvements to the FMS and other navigation systems. One of the most significant updates with FMS 6.1 is FAN's data link capability. This video is a basic introduction to FAN CPDLC on the Honeywell FMS 6.1 system. For directions on how to use FANs to log on to an air traffic control service, receive clearances, make requests, and more, watch parts two and three of this video series. In previous decades, it became apparent that our ability to monitor and communicate with aircraft was quickly outpaced by the increasing number of aircraft in the air. This increased the cost of maintaining air traffic control systems while creating undue flight delays. In the 1980s, ICAO set out to solve these issues and the FANS, or Future Air Navigation System Committee, was created. The FANS Committee set out to use data link communications technology to develop a more efficient air traffic management system with increased airspace capacity. Data link services improve communications and surveillance while enabling reduced separation and providing improved weather deviation management. A data link system contains the data link equipment on the aircraft the air traffic service station on the ground, and a communications network. Sometimes, data link systems can include one or more service providers. A data link system on an aircraft needs a network to operate. In addition to the different types of data link systems on aircraft, there are various data link subnetworks around the world. An example of a data link network is ACARS, which stands for Aircraft Communications Addressing and Reporting System. Many pilots are familiar with ACARS as it has been in use for years for communicating with aircraft operators and certain air traffic services. CPDLC stands for Controller Pilot Data Link Communications. By using a data link network, CPDLC makes it possible for pilots to communicate with an air traffic service center using text messages. CPDLC provides universal standard phraseology, which eliminates the confusion sometimes caused by different accents or non-standard phraseology. The data link system stores a log of the communications between the pilot and the ground station, so a previously issued clearance can be reviewed at any time. Depending on the implementation, CPDLC also allows uplinked route clearances to be loaded directly into the aircraft flight management system greatly reducing input errors and aircraft deviation. When configured with ADS-C, a CPDLC system can automatically transmit reports when a specific event occurs, such as crossing a waypoint, reaching an altitude, or loading a clearance into the FMS. Currently, there are two versions of CPDLC, FANS and ATN. This video will focus on FANS as installed on the Honeywell FMS 6.1. FANS uses the ACARS network along with SATCOM and VHF. There are multiple versions of FANS. Each provides similar services with minor differences in features, such as a message latency timer. ATN CPDLC uses the Aeronautical Telecommunications Network. With some exceptions, ATN CPDLC will be required in Europe above 28,500 feet. For more information on CPDLC, refer to the Global Operational Data Link or GOLD document. The GOLD document can be found online and contains a great deal of information useful to flight crews, such as flight crew procedures, message formatting, and more. Watch part two of this video series for information on how to log on and begin using FANS data link on a Honeywell FMS 6.1 system.